Hi friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use a bump surface tool which is uh, coming under the advanced surface feature in the GST Workbench and KTV5. What you can see in the screen is the bump surface being created and in this tutorial I'll be guiding you through step-by-step -step process to work on this kind of bump surface. So the bump command in the advanced surface toolbar creates a bump on the selected surface. So if I delete this particular bump over here, uh, the system is kind of a little bit slow so I want my users to be a little patient. So when I remove the bump in this particular option what I get is this kind of surface over here so the user have to firstly create this kind of surface and then do the bump option so in this guide I'll be showing you from the scratch how you can use this tool so I'll just open up a new workbench on GSD and firstly I'll create such a surface so there are several variables when it comes to creation of a bump surface that is the surface to deform, the limit curve, deformation center, deformation direction, deformation distance etc. So I'm going to show you how you can vary all those different variables and get this different kind of bumps in the advanced surface. So let me just firstly create a basic sketch and then go for the revolve command and revolve it according to the z-axis and make a revolution of 180 each in angle 1 and angle 2 that would give you a surface like this a cylindrical surface that's all I need now this second thing is to hide the existing sketch and select this particular circular portion and go for an edge fillet give a radius of maybe a 10 for the edge fillet and the next thing what you gotta do is the next thing what you gotta do is select the surface to deform so the surface to deform over here is this particular surface so you gotta select the bump tool which is located in this particular toolbar here so I'll place the toolbar properly so in the advanced surfaces it's the first tool select the tool and you'll get all the variables which is to be varied now the element to deform is this particular surface here and the limit curve is the curve which is supposed to be on the particular surface which you want to deform a limit curve delimits the deformation area Note that the limit curve needs to be lying on the surface to be deformed. So I gotta select this particular curve as our limit curve. And the deformation center must be a point. So go for creating point. That's a in-house uh, option by right clicking and create a point. And create the point exactly on the center of the surface. That's where we have the point. And go for the deformation somewhere around some 10 or 15. 15 deformation and deformation direction must be as the axis so you can see on the preview that a kind of deformation is happening on the center so just increase the deformation distance to somewhere around uh, 25 that will give you a considerable increase on the deformation and on the added parameters you can see a, a center curvature so once you increase this curvature you can see that uh, the deformation is getting concentrated towards the center so that's how you can increase the center of curvature and make the deformation concentrated towards the center and uh, that's all the different uh, variables which you can vary on the uh, bump option go ahead and click OK and you can see the bump is created on the surface so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and this tutorial is going to help you on your uh, surfacing projects and if you have any doubts on this video please comment below and if you have any CAD related queries and projects write to me at ketia.pro.user at gmail.com till the next video arrives stay tuned thank you